Hello YouTube, and yes, surprise, surprise, I got some Juodra. Um, got some Juodra mechs, so. This is, we're taking a look at the Deluxe Dobatsu Gatai Juo King from Dobatsu Sentai Juodra. This is the main mech. That contains three Juo cubes and two accessories, one here, one here. And yeah, so. And this is supposed to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Super Sentai, so. Yeah, so we got Q Eagle. Q Shark and Q Lion. And of course we got the Big King Sword and we got the King Sword. So So we're gonna take a look at the mechs individually and then we'll take a look at the accessories then. So let's start with Q Beagle. Okay, so look, let's take a look at Geo Q number one. This is Cube Eagle. And this is Duo Eagle's um personal mech. So yeah, it's made in cast in red with some white. Like, like one here, and got some black here. And yes, a lot of people did complain about this blue piece right here. And that's when it comes to that's when I'm gonna come to the uh, Geo King combination. So this, this, so this, um, no, since so this goes on top of Cube Shark, so yeah. So yeah, not much about it. This uh, Cube mode. So let's go to Animal mode or Dobatsu mode. So it's kind of an automorph um, one. So. Flip up the eagle head, and when you lift this up, oh wait, let me get it to an angle. Wait, so when you lift this up, well, what were um what were going to become Jewel King's arms? That become the wings. So oh, and also there's um panels you have to flip out. So like that. <clears throat> so yeah, that this is Cube Eagle, and yeah, it's not the best looking eagle. I mean, because one, you got the, it's a it's got a nice bird head, but the bulk is meh. But hey, you know they're trying to make this into a cube. I mean they're trying. So, and then one thing that's also weird that these are the fists for Jewel King, and they're actually the thrusters, or maybe these could be thrusters, maybe. Um, and this um big hole right here, um, but this is actually a cannon that was used in the show. So, yeah, yeah. So, nothing much about Cube Eagle, so, so that's that. Alright, next we're going to take a look at Geo Cube number two, Cube Shark. And you can see it's a mainly, it's a almost blue cube. We got the white here for number two, we got the, the teeth, and we got some bits of silver as well. And you can tell bits of yellow. Of course, a lot of, of course people do complain about that, but that's going to, there's a purpose for that. So, yeah. Not much about it. So, <clears throat> so let's put a, put this cube in animal mode. So, come under here and reach. And you can pull out one half of the the shark head and the other half right here. And now, one this is actually pretty neat. So, when you fold these two halves together, look closely. The tail fin would pop out. You see this popped out when I fold the. Oh, not yet. Actually, show you again. So, so when you fold the two halves together, the tail fin will pop in, and when you pull the tail fin out, the dorsal fin will pop out as well. So that's a pretty convenient transformation right here. So, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So if you want to transform back into cube mode, or you say her, um. Just push the tail fin back, and when you push the tail fin in, the shark would split in half for you. So, again, that's a pretty convenient transformation. Oh, well, one thing I want to point out about um, Cube Eagle, when you're going to transform into cube mode, of course, you know, fold the eagle head down. Um, now, the fists here are actually on a spring-loaded gimmick, so, so, on, so detach the arms, and hold the fist in and then close it so that way um this fist doesn't pop out like right like right there so so just be careful of that so but can i actually let me use the let me use this loop. there we go so fold this in hold it and like that so yeah i just i just forgot to show that off and lastly we have geo cube number three cube lion 
see it's just a yellow cube with with black and a bits of red for the eyes here that's for the decoration and you'll and you'll see red later when it comes when we get to animal robot animal mode right now okay so all I do is just fold up the three you can see the line head with the mane over it and hold the legs back done simple it's very simple um, so there you go, that's his cube lion in animal mode. And yeah, it's pretty neat. You know, they're trying to stick with the whole cube motif, which I can see that. And yeah, here's the, the bits of red I was talking about, the eyes. And this is the only white part, the teeth. So, yeah. Just form back, just hold back the legs, hold down the head, you're done. So that's that. Now let's take a look at the accessories. Now we're gonna take a look at the Big King Sword and the King Sword. <clears throat> so here's the Big King Sword. And this is what is used to, you know, like when the cues are stacked up on top, they, this would go down like this, and <clears throat> which I'll show off later, so. So yeah, it's actually pretty, it's actually a pretty long sword, but you know, it's not really gonna be, it's, you know, it's not really a sword and it won't, maybe, it might be used as a sword later on, maybe. And speaking of sword, here's the actual king sword. So, yeah, it's got these three squares right here. And it gets some nice detailing. So, yeah. And of course, this can be stored in the big king sword by just sliding it in. And it should click into place. So, there. So, there we go. So, now let's start the transformation. So now that I reviewed these guys individually, then we can start Dobatsu Gatai. Let's begin. Now, I don't have the duo changer, so I'm not gonna play the sound effects that, that goes with this thing, so I'll just say the numbers in, you know, it doesn't matter, like English or Japanese, I don't know, so I'm gonna say it in Japanese, so. Son. Ni. Ich. And Juo King. And twist, and twist the face, pull this out, and bam. Oh, and don't forget to fold the eagle head as well. So, there we go. And there we have Jewel King. And, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is, this is alright. I mean, yeah, it's got this big, you know, all this kibble back here. But, hey, that's okay. I mean, I can live with that, so. So, yeah. Now, when we see the catalog images, um, there is, we expect this, you know, this whole robot to be, you know, monoleg, because you can see there's this black spacing right here. So, yeah. Um, um, there's not much articulation, just only the arms, that's it. So, just typical Super Sentai Robo, um, articulation, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, there's not much to say about this. I mean, I do I do recommend this to people if you like Super Sentai or Drew Ultra itself. I mean, yeah, even though this is a simple toy, but there is charm to this, you know? It's simple, and I can actually play with this all day. I mean, now a lot of people actually hated this toy because of how simple it was, and it was a monoleg toy. Again, if you don't even mind monoleg, you know, this whole black spacing right here. Yeah, you can tell. But I do like this. I mean, if you don't like Juo, if you don't like this mech, I mean, I, I'll respect that. I mean, I can respect your opinion if you don't like this this line. I mean, if you want to get a more articulate Juo King, like, get the mini plug version. I mean, I mean, you get the, you get the, if you want the articulated version of this thing, then get the mini plug version. So, so yeah. I mean, so if you don't like this toy, then that's okay. I mean, I mean, don't you know? Don't dislike me for liking Juoger. I mean, I mean, come on, I like this show. I, mean, I just love the motif of it. Animals become cubes. That is actually a pretty cool idea. Even though there's gonna be you know weird proportions for the animal modes, but 
that's to be expected. So, so yeah. So next time, I'm going to take a look at the Deluxe Cube Elephant and Cube Tiger. So, so I'll catch you next time.